Breaking tonight, some of the oldest and most respected giants of American media calling out the Hillary Clinton campaign tonight for unacceptable behavior. This after the campaign bans a reporter, allegedly because they did not like his reporting. Although Clinton says that's not the reason. Welcome to the Kelly File, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. The Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, the Washington Post, and some of the country's biggest print media have tonight issued a direct challenge to the Clinton team to better explain why they refused to let a fellow print reporter cover her campaign today. The latest dust up with the press corps Mrs. Clinton has largely ignored since her presidential run was first announced. This weekend, the Clinton campaign relaunched her just launched campaign and at her event in New York, a reporter for the Daily Mail filed stories pointing out that only a few thousand people showed up for the big event, which he went on to characterize as a, quote, slightly more arrogant Woodstock. 48 hours later, that reporter, David Martosco, shows up to board the campaign van and is told, no way. The campaign says it was all because of a technicality, although its explanations have been conflicting. But neither that reporter nor the publications we just mentioned are buying the Clinton camp's explanation. David Martosco is the U.S. political editor for the Daily Mail and winner of the 2012 Edward R. Murrow Award, writing, uh, Award for Writing, and he is the reporter who was barred. David, thank you very much for being here. So just so the audience knows, you were the pool reporter for the day, and that's what we have to do when the Clinton camp or any camp won't let us all go. We select one, and that person's responsible for reporting for the group, and that's the way it's always done. Not so for you uh, this morning when you tried to cover her event. What did they tell you? Well, I, you know, I got there when I was told to get there. Quarter to eight in the morning, I showed up in the parking lot, I told them who I was, and they said, no, you can't come. Uh, t just for context, I arrived in Manchester last night after midnight and was told then, like seven hours before I was supposed to show up for pool duty, that they wanted a different person representing the pool for the campaign all day Monday. Um, the pool in general is a very a tight-knit organization. It's, it's very loose, but it's a tight-knit group of, of professionals. And to a man and woman, they all said no. The Clinton campaign does not get to choose who covers them. And that's really the controversy today. Correct. This they, is the kind of thing we see in other countries that. that we don't want to emulate. They don't get to control that. I mean, this is just one thing that she doesn't get to control. She, she wants press covering her. The whole goal for these politicians is to have people covering them. And then we, the press, get to decide very few things. But one of them is who's going to go in there and represent us.